so today we're going to be talking about mental health and uh, what that's been looking like lately in this week's video. Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I am shopping again and as you can see probably from the window over here my car is very dirty and I am definitely due for a car wash because we've had snow recently. Nothing significant but significant enough for me to um hit two curbs about two weeks ago and knock my car majorly out of alignment and it's funny because I recently got an alignment done like probably not even like two months ago and so instead of my steering wheel being like all straight across it do this. <laughs> <laughs> it made me so angry. But yeah, I had uh, two curbs just kind of like slid into them because, uh, you know, ice and it sucks. And it definitely bruised my ego a bit because I am not a bad driver and I am pretty careful. And so the fact that I hit two curbs, which I, I never... I never really run into anything even when it snows. So that was just kind of infuriating. Anyway, hi. <laughs> So I am, like I said, I'm doing shopping today. I got my typically bi-weekly coffee drink. This is a chai tea latte with two shots of espresso and it's delicious. Yeah, um, it's not too terribly bad weather today, but I'm wearing a beanie because as of lately, I have decided to kind of um, pull back a little bit from hair products because my scalp was getting really dry and stuff. And the reason why my hair is in a beanie is because while well, I'm going without products of styling, my hair doesn't quite like stick where it needs to. And I'm looking very Amanda Bynes from the movie She's the Man and it's not a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a vibe. But yeah, new things going on with me. Um, earlier this week, I got it in from Amazon, a desk and a office chair. And I wasn't totally sure if I was going to include clips from that or not, but I decided to. And my son decided to make a little bit of a cameo because he absolutely insisted on being the project supervisor. So indeed, he did very well supervising. He also helped with destroying all the packaging stuff that came along with the chair and the desk. But overall, it was fun. I figured I'd do some time lapses of the whole process just because that kind of stuff is just fun to watch. I think the desk came with a janky little plastic screwdriver which I ended up not using at all and I brought like all these screwdrivers into the project but only used really one that is reversible which is so handy that is definitely the most used screwdriver that we have in the house. But I'm very proud of myself. I have a little desk situation in the corner and I made sure to get a desk that was great for tiny spaces and the height of the chair and the desk are both adjustable which is great and can hold a bunch of stuff. I have my little corner for all my creativity. I'll have a designated area for editing videos which is awesome so I'm very very excited about that. And then of course I have my collage wall behind it which I might include that in videos in the future. I don't know it might be something fun something easy to do. I'll have like this very unique backdrop but that was my project for this week. But anyway so I told you guys in the beginning of the video that we're gonna be talking about mental health. If you guys have been around since the beginning I know I say that in so many of my videos. I've been on a journey and as of lately I've been really working on regulating my emotions and being okay with expressing them and not suppressing them because I know overall that creates long-term bitterness and resentment towards people and a lot of like the pent-up emotion stuff also plays into how I perceive myself and also a lot of those feelings come from disappointment in myself because I don't meet my high expectations for myself that are unfortunately very unrealistic. I need to be much kinder to myself which is one of the resolutions that I've made for myself this year. It's just to work on overall my mental health and how I perceive myself and how I see others and how I convey myself to others. The reason being, and I'm talking about mental health right now, it's been an interesting past couple days. Yesterday was pretty rough. I am an empath and that's both a blessing and a curse. I cry a lot. <laughs> and I feel everything. But Sam has had recently some mental health issues on his own and because you know, as his wife, I'm with him all the time. I very, very deeply feel what he feels. And a lot of his depression is based off of his current situation with his health. Sometimes it has to do with life, which I completely understand. But the overall depth of his emotions, like in its raw and deep form, I feel it immensely and it sucks because I mean, right now I'm really trying to work on bettering my mental health and it's a little bit difficult when me being an empath, if my husband is not doing well, well, then I'm not doing well. And one thing I've been really trying to work on is that me being a people pleaser, I tend to try and be more optimistic in situations and I try and see like the brighter 
entire silver lining aspect of everything and i understand to some extent like that's not okay it could be borderline toxic in certain situations and i know that it drives sam nuts when i tend to do that when he is merely trying to vent and i'm trying to fix the situation before he can even get all his thoughts and emotions out so i've been really trying to do better at listening and being there for him even if it's only just me physically being near him not saying anything but just showing him like hey i'm here for you yesterday he was just having a really difficult moment so i literally just sat with him and typically his love language is physical touch but of course because he was so immersed in his emotions he just did not want to be touched but i merely just sat there with him and i know that that helped him a lot because i know that that would help me a lot sometimes i don't know what the right words are to say in a situation especially when i'm overwhelmed with my emotions and sometimes all I need is just someone just to be there with me and that's all I want to do for Sam is just remind him like hey I understand that you are mentally not doing well at the moment but I'm here for you I don't have to tell you but me being here and, and make myself available to you in case you want to talk or just like the comfort of my presence I mean like that's all I want to do he's doing better yeah and I definitely had a little bit of a heart to heart with him last night and just was honest with him like you know when you feel really down and stuff I feel it on such a personal and deep level and it sucks so when you're, like, you're depressed and you're like oh my gosh this sucks well it sucks for me too because I unintentionally take on like the emotions that you're feeling and I feel them so deeply and it hurts so bad but it's not a bad thing and I explained to him like the reason why I sat near you and didn't say anything is because I knew at the moment that's not what you needed you didn't need me to say anything you just needed my presence and I understood that mainly from like his body language and sometimes he'll do that for me as well and sometimes I'll tell him that I tend to get depressed or in the moment that I do definitely feel depressed and he's like well you're not supposed to feel depressed I'm like really why because you feel depressed and depression is a very real very normal emotion to have it's us being disappointed either in ourselves or in a current situation or with somebody else and we don't need to stifle real raw true emotions we just need to know where they come from what triggers them how to navigate through them and how to overall know how to properly respond to the big emotions such as depression and a lot of time my depression is usually the fact that I don't meet my standards and my expectations in myself because I feel like I need to take on the weight of the world of my family and myself and I don't have to like literally don't have to and I don't need to put that on myself and then get upset and resent Benjamin or Sam because I've taken on their world when they never asked me to and it is okay to lower my expectations it's okay to not be okay but yeah so as of lately, I am overall just working on recognizing the big emotions, where they stemmed from, how to handle things, and how to shift my perspective and my thought process in being not so harsh. Because I mean, the world we live in is so harsh and so brutal and so judgmental. We don't need to do that to ourselves. That's just it's stupid i mean oftentimes we are our own worst enemy but also at the same time we are our own advocates and seeking out the best for ourselves in our very short life here on earth but yeah with learning to be okay with the ebbs and flows of the emotions it's been very humbling and it's been it's been good you know as much as it hurt to be an empath and go through the emotions recently with Sam and what he's just dealing with in life. It's very eye-opening, especially with me just being okay with just accepting the emotions as they are, not stifling them because that's not healthy because that just, that makes you explode later on because you have chosen to stuff and we're not supposed to stuff. We're supposed to just be and it's healthy and it's okay and it's okay for things to hurt in the moment because even in pain we learn things and we grow and so embrace the pain sometimes do the best you can to have eyes wide open in the situation and learn from it and learn how it can make you overall more open-minded a more better person and also help yourself have a little bit more grace for yourself and whatever life throws at you overall just learn to have grace so that's where I'm at lately. And I'll probably be in like this little phase or whatever of learning to have grace for myself and grace for others and grace to handle situations delicately when need be. And just learning to be kind to myself and be kind to others in the way that they need in the time being. But yeah, that's it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and let me know that you enjoy the content. If you are not already, please subscribe. I would love for you to join our clan here on YouTube. And the link to my social media, my Instagram, is down in the description box below. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you all next time.